then the car drove away on its own. The scariest part, though, was when backstage interviewer Josh Matthews appeared, and then... <gasps> Dog! Enjoying the ride, Randy. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Wait a minute! When the hell was this? <laughs> when, <laughs> when was this, bro? Dilo, hey, yeah. Clutch. I'm in the clutch, we in the clutch, the team up in clutch. You think that we suck, your dreams are the luck, your ship is just sunk, we turn up for what? Ooh, yeah. See that my face is up in disgust because people talking a mess, but there's nothing to discuss. I'm just being honest, I'm keeping it a bug. Uh huh. We in the clutch! What's going on, Clutch Squat? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross, and we are in the clutch. Hey. hey. Back to ladies and gentlemen, another visitor that you feel me? Top 10 scariest WWE Undertaker moments. Number Ooh. four is messed up. Oops, sorry. Undertaker. Oh. Scary moments. Number who? Anywho. Anywho, uh, Undertaker is probably oh, uh, the one of the most iconic characters in wrestling. Uh, definitely as a kid growing up, he used to scare the shit out of me. I think he scared a lot of kids, and that's what made him work because he was a dead guy. Yeah. <laughs> How do you beat a dead guy? A dead man. I don't know, but it worked. So we're gonna check this out. Should be some good classic moments. Nostalgia at its finest. Actually, Shout out to one dead. of the greatest to ever do it. Oh yeah. The Undertaker, man. I heard he was a, a good basketball player too, man. Yeah, I heard about and that. And from the eight. Who would've known, man? Houston on. He makes I love sense. it. Love it, man. Let's get into He's this. from the dead eight. <laughs> Let's see what I did there. Undertaker is arguably the greatest wrestler in WWE history and the scariest. Yeah. The demon from Especially Death Valley that. has terrified Especially fans damn and other eyes, wrestlers bro. for 30 yep. years. But which moments were the scariest? That's what we're going to find out <laughs> right now. It's These that are the rise top up, scariest bro. Undertaker moments of all time. Number 10, The <clears throat> Undertaker is Alive. Mm -hmm. After Paul Bearer betrayed Undertaker yep. and joined Mankind, the Phenom decided to kick things up a notch by introducing the Buried Alive. Yeah, I remember them. Undertaker and Mankind both tried to literally bury each yep. other, but it was the dead man who had his hand raised. Yep. Even though he won, Undertaker ended up being the one buried alive thanks to some interference. Of course. At first, it seemed like Mankind and Paul Bearer had successfully destroyed The Undertaker, but then, bro. Oh, yeah. Dog. <laughs> Dog. You could never Classic forget that moment. Monster, Undertaker's arm rose from beneath Scared the ground. Scared the shit out of me. Bro. Oh, While not yeah. the most terrifying sure. moment in Undertaker's career, the visual of a creepy looking arm rising yep. from the ground is Scared pretty the shit spooky. Out of me, bro. And proves <laughs> you messes can't you kill up the to go to the cemetery. <laughs> Facts. Number nine, Undertaker rises from the dead. At the 1994 Royal Rumble, Undertaker faced off against Yokozuna in another one of the <laughs> you know. signature match types, the casket match. Uh -huh. The dead man put up a good fight in there. and ultimately took a small army to stuff Taker inside the casket. <laughs> Get him in there! Even in defeat, though, small Undertaker army. would still have the last laugh. As the casket was being carted away, smoke began to appear, <laughs> the lights went black, and then we saw a look inside the coffin. <laughs> <laughs> After giving a cryptic speech, the Undertaker began ascending inside a cloud of smoke. This moment has a lot of smaller creepy moments, but to me, the scariest of them all is when Undertaker jolts back to life. Yeah. The lighting, the angle it's filmed at, yeah. and the Undertaker's terrifying voice from inside the casket yeah. all make it an iconic scary WWE moment. You a moment. kid, this is nightmare fuel. The fuel. coffin exploding Definitely. at the end is a bit much, but that still doesn't stop this from being one of the Undertaker's Dog. scariest moments of all time. <laughs> Number eight, buckle up, Teddy. Oh, I, know, I buckle love up, Teddy. This moment isn't scary. It's funny. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, yeah. yeah, but let me explain. Yep. At the 2009 Breaking Point <laughs> interview, SmackDown General Manager Teddy Long Yo. threw the Undertaker from winning the World yep, he Championship did. by banning the Hell's Gate submission hole mm -hmm. and restarting the match. Of course, this made Teddy Long a target for the Undertaker. So SmackDown's GM tried to make up for it by apologizing to the dead man. Oh, uh, no. And I especially... <laughs> you go one-on-one -on -one like with The Undertaker. <laughs> to The Undertaker. Apparently, it work. wasn't good enough because after Long got into his limo, he was in for a Bro, surprise. Bro, you said security? <laughs> Buckle up, Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> Part of what makes yeah. scary is that Teddy Long wouldn't be seen until the next SmackDown. 
meaning that the Undertaker had him kidnapped for a whole week. Bro. When Teddy did show back up, he was tied up and inside a casket. Bro. And Mr. Taylon's suit is torn up, I'm so Undertaker done, was in torture Teddy while holding him hostage. To me, that's why this is so scary, since Buckle it's never up, shown Teddy. or explained what exactly Undertaker did to Teddy Long. Bro, he was fucking up Teddy for a week. He was fucking Teddy up for a week, bro. Uh, buckle up, Teddy. Teddy. Oh! <laughs> oh, one of the greatest bro. moments in SmackDown. Look at him, bro. That shit was funny. Bro, bro. they had to smoke the lighting. Everything, bro. Buckle up, Teddy. Ah! Judging by his expression after Look. being freed, whatever Undertaker did to Lon must have been pretty messed up. Number seven, Undertaker sends Edge to hell. Mm, remember this in the one. main event of SummerSlam 2008, Undertaker and Edge competed in one insane Hell in a Cell young, match. Young it was a grueling battle, but Undertaker came out on top. Even after getting the win, the Phenom hadn't had enough <laughs> and continued attacking <laughs> Edge. After setting up some ladders, Taker lifted the Radar Superstar up yep, and sent this. him plummeting down. All Killed the bizarre him. visuals that appeared before the choke slam were pretty creepy, but since that wasn't enough, this also happened. Yep. Yeesh. Oh, he killed him. <laughs> it wasn't just a little fire either. The flames nearly touched the top of the cell. Damn. I think this is supposed to be Undertaker metaphorically sending him the hell. hell yeah, and but, definitely yeah. gave that effect. <laughs> Edge also won't return till about three months afterward, so his absence helped make this moment even more impactful. That's fun. The blue lighting along with the orange flames <laughs> yeah. also gave the segment a chilling and terrifying feel. All at the same time. <laughs> Number six. Undertaker locks Ultimate Warrior in a casket. Coming off his first WrestleMania victory, Damn. Undertaker began mm -hmm. feuding with one it's of the company's OG. biggest stars, Ultimate Warrior. The rivalry began when Warrior was a guest on Paul Bearer's funeral parlor segment. It turned out to be a trap, and Undertaker <laughs> jumped a face paint wrestler and eventually what stuffed him inside a specially made casket. Oh no! Rather than cutting away or moving <laughs> on, the camera stayed on the casket and soon, ringside personnel ran to the coffin and tried to get it open. After minutes of literally chipping away at it, they finally unlocked the lid. Inside, the ultimate warrior laid lifeless as referees began giving him CPR Bro, to try really? and revive the man. He eventually started breathing, but this segment was played pretty seriously. Yeah, it was. The crew frantically trying to get the warrior out and him being unconscious when they did finally get yeah, the casket yeah. open. They, yeah, this Something is else back... that adds to the scariness I'm is that the ultimate real. warrior was trying to escape by tearing at the top of the casket before passing out. This was also when WWE was still in a cartoony phase, which made this moment even more shocking. Yeah. Number five, <laughs> I can imagine seeing that back Steve there. Austin. Oh, yeah. After suffering a concussion at the hands of The Undertaker, Steve Austin was spending the night at a hospital, or mm. should I say, a local medical facility. While he was recovering, Dog. Stone Cold got ambushed by Taker and Paul Bearer. I remember that. After they made the Texas Rattlesnake pass out, the dead man and his manager took Austin's lifeless body to a funeral home to embalm him alive. They got Austin on the operating table, cut open his shirt, and prepared to slice him open. Anything involving cutting someone open, Bro. especially when they're still alive, is just disgusting and freaks me out. The cold emptiness of the room also adds to the unsettling this was, feeling. This was on television. Of course, yeah. Stone Cold ah! doesn't actually end no. up getting cut open. But even though I knew that, I still had a tough time yeah, watching this entire Yeah, that's fucked. I was like, no! Might disagree, don't do but it! I still find Undertaker's involvement operation to be one of the scariest things he's ever done. Yeah, nah, he was, Number he was, four, he was rolling Undertaker before rolling. nearly kills Paul Bearer. Mm -hmm. In 2004, Paul Bearer returned to match The Undertaker. During their renewed alliance, Bearer was kidnapped by Paul Heyman and the Dudley Boys. At the Great American Bash, Heyman trapped okay. Undertaker's manager inside a tank this was a and threatened thing. to fill it with cement if the Phenom didn't lay down for Bubba Ray and Devon. Not only did Undertaker defeat both of the Dudleys, but he also prevented Heyman from killing Paul Bearer. It seemed like the story was going to have a happy ending, until... I have no other choice. <laughs> Yep, Undertaker decided to murder his manager. I have no. Killing someone is already pretty dark, but it's even darker considering how long of a history Bearer and Undertaker Bro. had. 
Now we did mention no in the following choice. episode of SmackDown that Paul Bearer survived and only suffered severe internal injuries. Okay, so gotcha. Undertaker didn't successfully kill someone, <laughs> but that doesn't change the fact that Undertaker fully intended to suffer. to understand the why he One survived of... with serious internal, internal injuries. injuries at Seaman, bro. What? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga should be dead. You would be dead, dead. You would be dead, bro. That's semen. There's no breathing that in. There's no swimming in it. That's it, nigga. That's You're it. dead. <laughs> Ain't no, I survived. I survived with serious internal injuries. <laughs> bro. This nigga was yeah. filled up with semen and survived. Yeah, had us thinking we could do that shit. Oh, semen not that bad. <laughs> nah, bro. That's what's in that big rotating ball. Nah. One of the reasons this isn't higher in the top 10 is because of the technical limitations. WWE couldn't have the real Paul Bearer in the tank mm. during the show, so they had to use a stunt double and work around it, mm -hmm. which does ruin the moment a bit. Even with that, though, death by suffocation is a scary thing, especially when you're willing to do it to someone you're close to. <laughs> Number three, Undertaker throws Mankind off Hell in a Cell. Of course. Oh, yeah. Undertaker and Mankind did a fair share of scary so stuff together. Mm -hmm. But then again, he they both look like this. So what ah. did you expect? It's true. At the 1998 Came of the Ring, the two wrestlers faced off in only the third Hell in a Cell mm -hmm. match in history, and things got intense very quick. Super quick. The match started on top of the cage, and after just a bit of brawling, Undertaker threw his opponent off the 16-foot structure Ooh. to the floor below. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah bro. Jesus Christ. That was... Well, spots like that this aren't them. that uncommon today. At the time, nah, this is something fans never, never really saw. saw. Yeah, nah. What also makes Mankind's fall from the cell scary <laughs> is not knowing if he's actually okay or not. Yeah. Right. Is Mankind lifeless because he's selling the fall? Or did we just legitimately see someone's career come to an end? Yeah. It's so shocking that it feels real yeah. and therefore much scarier. It probably also feels real because you it can't was. really fake this. Yeah, you can't ever. Now, we know that Mankind continued with the match and would also wrestle for several more years, which is great, but it does take the edge off a bit. Yeah. Plus, this clip of Mankind falling has been shown so much that it loses a bit of its mystique. Both of those reasons are why this moment isn't ranked higher, but even with all that, it's still a terrifying bro, incident that, happened, that could have easily oh, been much bro. worse. He could have hit that pole. Thing yeah. gone wrong. He was right there Number by two, the gate. Undertaker possesses Josh Matthews. December 9th, 2005. The night The Undertaker kept scaring the crap out of Randy Orton. <laughs> Throughout the entire show, the Phenom kept playing all kinds of mind games on Orton. While they're all spooky, the last one was definitely the scariest. Orton and his dad had enough of Undertaker's supernatural tricks and were leaving the arena. The only problem? The doors to their car were locked and then the car drove away on its own. <laughs> The scariest part, though, was when backstage interviewer Josh Matthews appeared, and then... Doug! Enjoying the ride, Randy. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Wait a minute! When the hell was this? <laughs> when was this, bro? Oh my this Wait, is... the car drove off. <laughs> Complete itself. The car Maybe drove Marina. off by itself. The problem? Then he got possessed. Locked, and then the car drove away <laughs> on its own. The scariest Wait a part minute. though was when backstage interviewer Josh Matthews appeared. He got and possessed then... by the got... <gasps> No. Enjoying the ride, Randy. Oh. Damn, Holy bro. crap! It's disturbing hearing the Undertaker's threatening voice come out of Josh Matthews like that. Oh, the damn. way Matthews' eyes change when he's possessed it makes it even creepier. The unnatural sounds that play and abruptly end before bro. and after Undertaker oh, possesses Josh Matthews also add to the scare factor. This could have flopped hard, but instead became known as one of the Undertaker's scariest he moments. He said it could have flopped hard. It could have. And number one, Undertaker sacrifices Dennis Knight. It's not too surprising that the Undertaker's scariest oh, yeah. he, moment he happened during trying the to sacrifice of people. phase. Part of the reason for that is because it happened during the Attitude Era, mm -hmm. when WWE wasn't afraid to push everything as far as it could go. They the, the scariest limits. moment from this period oh, yeah. of The Undertaker, though, has to be when the Phenom sacrificed one of his followers, Dennis Knight. After bringing out his ministry, Undertaker filled a cup with his own blood and gave it to Knight to drink, while also renaming him Midian. 
On top of that, Undertaker also carved a symbol into his followers' chest. And if all that wasn't creepy enough, the dead man also lit his iconic cross on fire. Wow. As I previously mentioned, anything involving cutting parts of the body really freaks me out, so this was a pretty intense segment to watch. Unlike some other moments we talked about where practicality <laughs> limited what they could do, this moment showed everything up close. And on top of that, they went through with all of it. No cane to save the day this time. What do you think yeah, is the scariest bro. Undertaker That's moment? Funny, bro. Nah, that was crazy. Bro. That was mad funny. That nah, nigga said sure. you <laughs> enjoyed the ride, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do at that moment, bro? As a kid, uh, as you a, out of there. You don't. Uh, you yeah. scared of him. <laughs> this nigga made a car drive off by itself. Yeah, no, that just drove zoom, off. bro. It was locked. They couldn't get in it, and it just drove off. Yeah, no, I'm not messing with you after that. Like, no sir. Undertaker's That's going. That's what Teddy bro. used to. You going against the Undertaker? <laughs> nigga said, "Buckle up, Teddy." Oh! No! <laughs> that nigga had him for a whole week. But well, Teddy came back with a cut-up suit. <laughs> Boy was shaking. Buckle he had, up, he Teddy. was shooketh. No, oh was my funny, god, bro. that was great. Top ten scares <laughs> WWE Undertaker moment, man. That, that was, was fantastic. That was that was. Man. We really enjoyed this. So if you oh, did, man. run up the likes, man. Spooky mind. <laughs> run up the likes, man. Let us know what else we need to be checking out. For sure. Some more uh similar things like mm -hmm. this that we could be checking out this month. But keep on running up the likes and supporting, man. Continue to spread love, be loved. Don't be too spooky out there, man. For sure. Catch y'all <laughs> on the next one. Peace out. Already. This bitch is from Houston If you got a problem, then we got the solutions And there's no illusion I made this shit happen, I'm living life lucid I'm switching my strategies Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me